Your Royal Highness, Ministers, Excellencies, Laureates, Honorable Guests, Dear Friends, Colleagues, and of course, you, students, the participants of this year's competition. This, my friends, is not an apple. It's 100 liters of water. And just, or at least it's representing 100 liters of water. When we think about the water required to produce one single apple, and I eat quite a lot, so just imagine the water needed to grow the food that I eat every day. And then think about seven billion people eating all over the world. And then, as Peter mentioned, think about an extra two billion people during my lifetime. How much water do we need to feed these people? A, a lot, of course. So I brought this apple as a reminder of this year's uh, theme for the World Water Week, talking about water and food security. And it also tells us that there will be problems in the future related to water. So the water sector is something to continue with for you as students, to study at universities, to do research perhaps. So I really encourage you to continue in the water sector and especially dealing with issues on food, water, energy, and ecosystem services. Those are really needed. Those areas need more knowledge and students like you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not an apple. This is a symbol of knowledge in many cultures. And knowledge is exactly what I've seen these two days when I met all you students. And we, I think I can speak on the behalf of my fellow jury members, we are amazed by all the knowledge you already possess at such a young age. And as such, we know, we, we should expect really high standards because you are all winners from your national competitions, but we're still surprised. And to continue now, I need another object. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is not an orange. This is a symbol of all the difficulties we had in the international jury this year. So if I combine it with the apple, it was really like choosing between apples and oranges because your projects are so diverse and it's really hard to compare them. And we have six major criteria for how to judge your projects. And one project may be really good in one sense, but a little bit less good in another aspect. So it's really hard to pick a winning project, I can assure you. And we often say, every year we say it was the toughest year so far, but I think it was. At least in the last five years, we have never had such a tough job because there were so many good projects. But in the end, we all agreed and we feel very, very happy with our choice. So thank you, jury members, for an excellent job. And thank you, all students, for giving us such a tough job. And thank you to the organizers also for asking me to be the chairman. It's a great honor. And talking about all these apples and oranges, I think it's really a good thing that they are so diverse and that you come from so many different backgrounds and you represent so many disciplines and subjects in school, from chemistry, bio biology, political science, etc., etc. Because this is what we need in the future to solve these problems in the future that Peter and I talked about in our speeches. So now you have started to build a network, you young students, with other people. And I think you shall continue this because if we mix these fruits, we will get a beautiful salad of fruits that will taste even more, that, that will taste even better. And that is exactly what we need in the future to solve the problems. And now I have just one hope, and that is that you will come back for future World Water Weeks as seniors. And my, on top of my wish list is, of course, that you will receive the senior water prize one time. So good luck. And on behalf of uh, myself and the jury members, may the best project win. Thank you.